Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Most of the viewers have asked us to make videos on fixed income securities or on bond market. So here we are with a very interesting but a bit complicated topic, inverse relationship between bond prices and the interest rates or the yield rates. So before we begin this video, let us get done with the formalities of asking you guys to subscribe to our channel if at all you like our videos. Do comment below if you have any suggestion for us or if you want any of the specific topic to be covered. So let's begin this video wherein we are going to explain why there is an inverse relationship between the bond prices and the interest rates or the yield rate. Before we begin this topic, we had done a very basic videos on the common terminologies that are used in fixed income securities or in bond market. Also, I would like to summarize few very important terms that we are going to use in this video time and again. So what exactly is a bond? Bond is nothing but a debt based instrument wherein individuals like you and me, we loan to corporates or government who are issuing those bonds. So at the end of the maturity period, government or corporate who has issued the bonds, it promises us to pay the bond price along with some interest to the investors. Now they also give us interest in the form of coupon semi-annually that is in every six months which is called as coupon. So for example, if a government or if a corporate issues a thousand rupee face value bond and it promises to pay us a coupon rate of 4%, then we would be getting 40 rupees every year. And if the maturity of the bond is 10 years, then we would be getting 400 rupees in total. At the end of the maturity period, government would give us, government or the corporate who has issued bonds will give us our face value back to us. If at all there is some additional interest that needs to be paid, that also the government will give us on maturity. So these are the basic terms about bonds. Now let us consider what happens. Now let us see a scenario where the interest rates are going up. So consider that there is a corporate who has issued a bond A at 4% coupon rate. Aapne wo bond kharid liya hai hazaar rupay mein, uski maturity hai 10 saal, aur wo corporate aapko de raha hai interest of or coupon of 4%. तो आपको 40 रुपए हर साल मिल रहे हैं। अब ऐसे हुआ कि एक साल बाद इंटरेस्ट बढ़ गए। तो अब मान लीजिए कि इंटरेस्ट रेट हो गया 5 परसेंट। तो क्या होगा? आपको तो 4 परसेंट पे वो बॉन्ड मिल रहा है। So that is why you are in a loss because now the market is paying 5 परसेंट। So what would you do? You would obviously be selling that bond. Now why would somebody purchase a bond from you which is paying 4 परसेंट रे� so obviously उसका demand तो गिर जाएगा क्योंकि वो bond बस 4% rate आपको दे रहा है, 4% coupon rate दे रहा है, जबकि market में आपको 5% coupon rate मिल रहा है. So what will happen? You will have to decrease the price in order to sell your bond, in order to sell the existing bond that you have. तो obviously उस bond की price तो गिरनी है. Now the question is, at what rate will that particular bond A sell? So here is the maths. Now you are getting 40 rupees as coupon every year. So now if you divide those 40 rupees by 5%, you get 800 rupees. So technically that is the price at which the bond is going to be selling. So now you've seen that as interest rate goes up, that is from 4% to 5%, the interest rate has gone up by 1%. And the bond price has decreased from 1000 rupees to 800 rupees. So that is the inverse relationship. Now we will see another condition, another situation wherein the interest rates are dropping. So let's see what is the effect on the bond prices. Ab mano aapne vapasi bond kharida hai ek corporate se, let's call it bond A. Aapne wo bond kharida hai 1000 rupees mein. Tab interest rates the 4%. अब इंटरेस्ट रेट्स गिर गए हैं एक साल बाद इंटरेस्ट रेट्स हैव बिकम 3 परसेंट एंड नाउ द बॉन्ड दैट यू हैव टेकन यू आर इन अ प्रॉफिट बिकॉज़ वो तो आपको 4 परसेंट का इंटरेस्ट दे रहा है लेकिन अब मानो आपको पैसे चाहिए आपको वो बॉन्ड बेचना है मार्केट में तो सब लोग वो बॉन्ड खरीदेंगे क्योंकि उसका इंटरेस्ट रेट तो 4 परसेंट है जब मार्केट में सबको 3 परसेंट ही इंटरेस्ट रेट मिल रहा है 
तो आपको वो बॉन्ड बेचना है आप हजार रुपए में तो बेचोगे नहीं क्योंकि हर कोई वो बॉन्ड खरीद रहा है देर इज अज डिमांड फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर बॉन्ड सो वट विल यू डू यू विल इंक्रीज द प्राइस यू विल इंक्रीज द बॉन्ड प्राइस इन ऑर्डर टू सेल दैट बॉन्ड अब आपको फोर्टी रुपीज का कूपन उस बॉन्ड से मिल रहा था क्योंकि द इंटरेस्ट रेट एट दैट टाइम वेन यू वॉट दैट बॉन्ड इट दोज वर फोर परसेंट अब मार्केट थ्री परसेंट पे गिर गया है तो फोर्टी डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री परसेंट कम्स आउट टू बी वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री रुपीज तो आप उस बॉन्ड को बेचोगे वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी थ्री रुपीज में तो जो बॉन्ड आपको हजार रुपए में मिल रहा था आप अब उसकी प्राइस बढ़ गई है क्योंकि द इंटरेस्ट रेट है फॉलो so when the interest rates fall the demand for the existing bonds with a higher interest rate increases higher coupon rate increases and that is why the bond price also technically should increase when the interest rates are falling and when the interest rates are rising in the market then the demand decreases for those particular bonds which are being issued at a lower coupon and that is why the bond price falls now the degree to which the bond prices changes when interest rate goes up or down is calculated by assessing the future cash flows by discounting the future cash flows so what traders do is they discount the future expected cash flows to the current value and they calculate the bond price we are very soon going to release a video on how exactly bond prices are calculated when you know the yield rates when you do the coupon rates but time being just assume that the that the future cash flows are discounted in order to calculate the bond prices so though in the above two examples that i mentioned we have not included the time value of money but nevertheless the concept remains the same so i have tried to explain you the concept of inverse relationship between bond prices and interest rates in a very very simple layman's language if at all you like our video do comment below Do comment if you want any of the particular topic to be covered. अगर आपको bonds market के बारे में कुछ जानना है या fixed income security के बारे में जानना है then I am providing a link in the description box of my earlier video wherein I have stated all the basic terminologies and bond क्या होता है ये सब मैंने उसमें explain किया है So that is it for now. We are going to be releasing a video shortly about how bond prices are calculated. So for that video, stay tuned. Say stay.